So she had a lot of fun. That time I was around. She had a lot of pain and sacrifice. I don't think she ever recovered from it. I said last night that there was a very respectable reporter who went to see her in January. She was laid out in bed. She was in a convulsion. <coughs> you know, she got up and went back to the bed again. She went out on, on a multi-state speaking tour with Paula Bloor to try to raise money for the strike in March. You know, she couldn't rescue that strike, but she was still working at it. And she kept being an activist after she moved to Chicago. She was very involved in the Slovenia American left. So this was a woman who did a lot and also paid a high price. The question that I'm trying to address here, is this a woman who is worthy of recognition in the Labor Hall of Fame? Does she belong on the same stage with people like Mother Jones? That's the question I'm trying to address here. I've spent a couple of years trying to learn about Annie, and the answer I've come to is, you betcha. So, I'm really pleased that the Labor's International Hall of Fame has come to the same conclusion and has decided to add her to their Hall of Fame. I'd like to introduce Sean Ellis from the Hall. I want to say personally, I want to thank uh, Tony Carabini and his wife Kathy for uh, taking the drive up 
Uh, he, this gentleman runs the Postal Press Association across the country. He's responsible for making sure that history gets out into the postal workers. I uh, mean, so appreciate Tony you making the drive up here. Uh, but finally, to commend Stanley uh, for uh, for uh, participating and being here and coming up and and um, uh, you know, just being involved in this whole process. So thank you. Uh, my role this evening is to introduce you to Lakers International Hall of Fame. Strong tradition of promoting and preserving the history of our labor heroes and heroes. And absolutely, Andy is a hero in, in my mind uh, uh, through education and activism. Uh, I'm proud of the, uh, the work of the current 11 member board, which has built a solid foundation of taking us from being a Detroit based organization uh, to becoming a broader based labor coalition that is, making, that, is, that is more national in scope. This year marks the 40th anniversary of Labor's International Hall of Fame, and this, this year by far is one of the most exciting for us. Uh, our board works through uh, submitted names from labor programs and uh, institutes like Cornell, National Labor College, Wayne State University, 45 minute phone calls from Linden as well, okay? Uh, uh, but uh, these names are then researched by our board. Uh, uh, names can only be submitted on persons who have been deceased for five years. This process takes the better part of several months, uh, with one to three inductees being announced each year on Labor Day from Detroit. A site location has been secured by October for a ceremony the following May. We usually try to find somebody, uh, find an organization uh, that takes ownership of one of the uh, uh, inductees uh, to host our events uh, the third uh, week of each May. 